Hello again, welcome back to the Frizz and Frills channel. I'm super excited about the review that we are gonna be doing today. We will be reviewing the Il Maquillage Foundation, which we have right here, okay? So here's the deal with this foundation. I have seen this foundation everywhere, literally everywhere. I see it on YouTube ads, I see it on TikTok ads, I see it on Instagram everywhere. The ads are everywhere. <laughs> And I have now been inundated with the ads so much that I'm like, okay, I have to know if it's as good as the ads say it is. So we have the foundation right here and we're going to try it out and see how it goes. So as I'm opening this, oops, there goes the informational. <laughs> but as I'm opening this, you can see they have, what is this? I didn't even know there was something else in here. What is this? Did they just send their eyeliner? Apparently they sent their eyeliner. Well, that's fun. All right, thanks, El Maquillage. That's fun. So, but what we're here for today <laughs> is their foundation. So this foundation, here's the deal. It is supposed to be a lightweight, buildable coverage that's supposed to make your skin look like skin, which for me is always what I'm looking for. And I think that's what most of us are looking for. We don't want to look cakey. We don't want to look like we are, we have a ton of makeup on. And for me, I normally look for something that's like a lightweight coverage that also adds a little bit of just like for my like spot correction and just evenness of skin tone. And I like a little bit of a dewy look. This is supposed to dry more matte, but I figured, you know what, let's try it because you know, maybe it's not gonna dry super matte since some of it says like it might be a little luminous. I don't really know. So it's gonna be a complete gamble, I feel like. But it is supposed to be more of a medium coverage that is buildable. Now, buying a foundation when it's online and we can't go in store, and we've been dealing a lot with that with, you know, quarantine and COVID and everything and not being able to use samples even when you go into like Ulta or Sephora. So with this, they have a full quiz online. And I mean, it's a pretty in-depth quiz, no lie. It is a very, like, I mean, I think I spent at least five to 10 minutes on this quiz to figure out what color I was. Now, the first time I feel like it chose too dark for me and like, I'm not, I'm not the dark. Now I am in a lot of light right now. So I do feel like it's like kind of overexposing my skin a little bit right now. Actually, let me see if I can change that. Okay, I feel like the exposure on that is a little bit better now. <laughs> Cause I'm like, if we're gonna be doing skin, we need to be able to see what's really going on here. And right now I am fully bare faced except for my, let's see here, I have a moisturizer and then I also used my um, Drunk Elephant Deep Bronzy. So it just adds like a little bit of a glow. We like a glow, we like a natural looking little bit of glow. Could I say glow anymore? I don't know. But I feel like I got off topic. So the first time it matched me, it I feel like it was immediately too dark and I was like, mm, I'm gonna take the quiz one more time and see if it does a different match. So the second time around, it came up with this shade. This shade is Woke Up Like This 60, I think. I think, this, I think the foundation is called Woke Up Like This. I hope I woke up like this. And then the shade is just, I think 60. So that's easy. Um, but, and I will put like, you know, what this whole quiz thing looks like right over here. And, but like, as I'm opening this up, this is kind of an interesting, oh, it's taped. Cool, cool. Oh, there it goes. So when you open this up, it's kind of got like, like cool. Oh, it's like magnetic. Ooh, that's fancy. Okay. And then you open it up and here is our foundation bottle. It looks like a kind of general foundation bottle. Let me get this open. I hate when they have these. I mean, it's a good thing that they have these like safety seals and stuff. Damn, they're annoying. Ugh. Should have done this before I got on here, guys. Oh, I even cut my nails down. My nails are a mess. Don't look at my nails right now. They're absolutely horrid. We've been in the middle of moving, as you guys know, and I am currently sitting next to, I think, eight boxes in my office right now, and it's just an absolute disaster. But I think I'm gonna be living in a disaster for the next few months, to be completely honest, because there's just so much that we have to do and to change and to unpack. It's a mess. They 
here we go. So this is the foundation. I mean, it looks like a nice bottle. It feels nice. It's glass. I appreciate that instead of it being plastic. And we open it up. Oh, does it screw? No. Does it screw? Or does it pop off? Oh, it pops off. Okay. So there is that. And it's got a little squirt guy. Okay. And like I said, this is woke up like this shade 60. Let me back up here for a second because normally what I'm going to do is I would go through with my super goop glow screen. It's real bright and it's very reflective. There we go. And then I would normally use for my foundation the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Foundation and I normally use the shade medium. So I love this because it's again buildable coverage and it has a built-in SPF. I do not believe the Il Maquillage has a built-in SPF. I am so sorry if you can hear my dogs. I think they're upset that they can't come in right now. <laughs> okay, see, when it's filming time, it is Ryan's time to take care of the dogs. I can't have them in here because they make way too much noise, as you could already tell. This one I like because it has the SPF built in, SPF 50, which is amazing. It has a lightweight coverage. I feel like it makes me just like look lit from within. It feels like it just blends right in with my skin. And it, the medium is just ever so slightly darker than my natural skin tone because it makes me look a little bit more glowy. We like a glow. So we're gonna try this. Right off the bat, it doesn't look bad for a shade, just from what I can tell, if I look like this. But we're gonna see how this goes. I wanna see if it stands up to the test and actually looks as good and blends as well as it says it does online. Let's give it a try. I'm gonna be using my Beauty Blender sponge. Do not come after me. It is dirty, I understand. It is a lot of work to clean this regularly. So, it is what it is. So it comes with a little card that says exactly how to get your foundation right. It says over 75% of women get foundation wrong. That's rough. <laughs> so it gives me the exact six steps in order to make sure my foundation is done right. So it says, number one, apply two tump, two tumps. <laughs> uh, number one, apply two pumps to your entire face, jaw, and neckline. Two, blend out with a brush or sponge. We will be using a sponge, um, not by hand. Sometimes I like to do it by hand when I'm on in a rush, so it should work with your hand too. It's just not gonna be as flawless of a coverage. Three, wait five minutes for foundation to set before, sh wait five minutes for foundation to set before checking the shade. Really? So, okay. So I need to wait five minutes before it looks right? Okay. And then it says step four, don't match your neck or match to your neck or wrist. They're a different tone than your face which is always what my mother taught me is to match it to my neck. So that's interesting. I do feel like you should match kind of to your neck so that it blends well. I understand that maybe your neck is gonna be a little bit lighter than your face because it's not gonna hit as much sun naturally. But at the same time, I don't want my face to be like five shades darker than my neck. So I want it to semi-match. So I don't know that I 100% agree with it. Wrist, I do agree. I don't think you get, um, like you might get your undertones from there, but you're not gonna get your exact shade because that wrist barely sees the light of day. But I feel like that step should have come first personally because I've already picked the foundation, so. <laughs> number five, finish your face with concealer, blush, and bronzer, yes. And number six, wear for a full week to determine if it's perfect for you. The other thing is with this foundation, they have basically a 100% satisfaction guarantee. So I think it's, you get it for a full, you either get it for a full week or a full, I'll just put it here. It's either for a full week or for two weeks or something like that, that you get it. And you actually don't pay for the full product when you purchase it. It's after that like kind of like grace period to figure out whether it's a good fit for you that you pay for the full foundation. The full foundation retails for $44. I mean, that's pretty average for a higher end foundation around, around that like 35 to $45. So yes, it's a little bit more expensive, I would say, um, but it's not like outrageous. Like there are some foundations out there that are like $60 or so, and that's very expensive. And this should hopefully, I would think, last me for at least three to six months. 
foundation normally lasts me um, at least six months personally. If it lasted only three months, I'd probably say it's not worth it, but we'll have to see about that. So let's go ahead and get started. We already have a damp sponge. We are using a typical beauty blender sponge. Now it says to do two squirts. So let's just see number one, we're gonna have to prime this bad boy. Prime, 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 prime. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling, ah, there it is. Okay, it got on my sponge. We're just gonna like wipe the rest on my face, kind of, and just like call it good. Okay, so we're gonna do one. I need a mirror for this. We're gonna, I've got some here. This is already a little bit of a mess, but it's okay. So right now, the color just right off the bat on my face, it looks a little yellow, but normally I would say my foundation typically looks a little bit more on the yellow orange side to like balance out some of my pinkness. So we're gonna go with this because I basically now have one and one, and I think that's gonna be enough for now, and we'll see if we just need more for like buildable coverage. So let's grab our beauty blender and start blending. Smells like foundation, it's not the best smelling. I'm like to pat in. Huh. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, I really like the finish on this. I'm just gonna blend a little bit down here. I like to just like, you know, like really, really beat it in the face, you know? Yo, that looks, <laughs> that looks really good. It looks really good. Well, dang. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and blend it in the other side. I will say this is definitely more of a light weight medium coverage. I would, I don't even know if I would call it a medium coverage, but it definitely does like soak right into the skin. So I'm going to have to go th go in with another a little dollop up here for my forehead and then maybe even a little bit for my neck. But I am going to go in, I think, with one more and then I might go in with like a little bit more right in here just to kind of... I tend to get a lot more red in here, so I think I'm going to go in with one more drop split between here and one more up here and call it good. But dang, y'all! I'm really... It looks like skin. I really thought I was getting duped. <laughs> I really did. This looks so good. And I don't feel like it looks like I have foundation on. What? Okay, 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 El Maquillage. I don't even know if I'm saying that name right. I really don't. Also, if you guys didn't notice, I have this like uh, slip silk headband going on so that it protects my hair from getting a bunch of foundation all over it. Let's continue to blend. So we got a little bit more on the nose. A little bit more here on the chin. A little bit more right here. Wow, this really just like, I mean, it really does blend right in. I'm very, very impressed by that. It does not sit on top of the skin by any means. I'm gonna go up, move this back a little bit. Blend into the hairline. We always like to blend into the hairline a little bit because we don't want a found. Do you guys ever see those girls that have like their foundation like right here and then it doesn't blend into the hairline and then their like scalp is like clearly like albino white and then their uh, face skin is. <laughs> like 10 shades darker it looks so bad so always blend into the hairline always blend we like to over blend wow 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 okay i'm gonna come up a little bit closer so you guys can like really see my skin do you guys see how good that looks i'm impressed and i really wasn't expecting to be i was really i bought this because i'm like there's no way it's as good as the ads say not possible. Now, what we will have to see is we'll have to check for overall like wearability, transfer, all that kind of stuff. So I am going to continue doing that in the rest of the video. So I'm probably going to finish off my makeup and then I'll come right back 
and um, I'll check back in with you guys in about like maybe like five hours and we'll see how we're doing. Y'all, I just realized I didn't use my glow screen. I got too excited. I got too excited and I just realized I didn't use it. And it still went on really well, but that might be why it didn't go maybe as far as I would normally have it go. Even though I had my moisturizer and I had my um, debronze on, I didn't have my typical glow screen primer. So that's unfortunate. Like I said, I'm gonna go finish up my makeup and then I'll be right back and just show you kind of like what my makeup looks like finished with this foundation on. And then from there, I will touch base with you guys later today. Okay, I am back with my full face makeup on with pretty light overall on the eyes and the lips. Just a little gloss and a little bit of Soft Glam from Anastasia, my favorite eyeshadow ever. But makeup is looking good. I'm gonna get a little bit closer here and show you guys. Yeah, like something right there. But the skin is looking good. I am right now super happy with this. So we're just gonna see how it wears, see if I notice it transferring throughout the day, um, if I feel like you know it actually wears well throughout the day because I want a foundation that is gonna last me from like 9 or 10 a.m. to at least 6 p.m. It better at least do that. If it gets me through past that, uh, it's it's an A++. But, oh, excuse me, I just burped. <laughs> but if it's um, if it only lasts, I feel like, a few hours, that's something that would be an issue. It does dry. I did notice it does dry a lot more matte than I would normally like. But that also might be because I did not use the um, glowing primer that I normally use, which does help give a more mattified foundation a little bit more glow, too. So that might be another little thing I'm gonna have to try out. But so far, so good. The color, the color is so good. I am shocked that it was a perfect color directly from a quiz online. So that's pretty impressive to me. Um, and the coverage and everything, it just looks really good and flawless. I'm very happy with this right now. So I will touch base in a few hours and we'll see where we're at. Okay guys, I am back five hours later and I just looked at everything and honestly, makeup still holding up real well and I have been doing, let's see here, I have done farm chores, I have done, we just completely re like cleaned out the kitchen and I am sweating and I can feel it and the makeup still holding up. Foundation is holding up. I don't feel like it's disintegrating, you know, where it starts to disintegrate in like the corners of your nose or like above your lip or like right in here, which is where I normally see it. And it is still, I'm gonna come up a little bit closer. It is still holding up really, really well. I'm impressed. <laughs> Il Maquillage, I think you have a winner of a foundation. I am honestly shocked it's as good as the ads are saying and I'm happy with this so far. <laughs> I think overall this gets like a double thumbs up. I'm really happy with it. So um, I am going to link the foundation and everything else that I used that you see on this face um, in case you have questions on like the skincare that I use or anything else from my face. Um, <laughs> So if you do have any questions on anything, definitely comment below, or if you've tried the Il Maquillage uh, foundation. Oops, top is rolling now on the floor. <laughs> but if you have questions on anything on this, or if you've tried it, I would love to know what your thoughts were and seeing if it held up to other skin types. I am a pretty like normal combination skin type. So I don't get super oily and I don't get super dry. So yes, I know I'm really lucky in that sense. So I'd love to hear from anybody else if you tried it, if you're oily or dry, how this did for you as well. I appreciate you guys being here. And if you haven't already, make sure that you give this video a thumbs up and then that you subscribe so you're always up to date on all of my tutorials and tips and tricks and everything else and any of the new farm stuff because I'm going to be doing a lot more interior DIY stuff. So you want to be around for that as well. But I appreciate you guys and I will see you next week. Bye.